In this video, we're going to do a really quick bit of sound design using Live 10's Wavetable Synth. And we're going to create um, an organ bass sound a little bit like this. I'm going to show you how you can spice it up a little bit with send and return effects and different waveforms. So first things first, let's get the basic patch going. Um, so I'm going to go to Instruments, Wavetable. I'm just going to load the blank instance, uh, which will be giving me a single oscillator uh, and a sine wave. So let's just expand the view so we've got a little bit more uh, in front of us. So you can hear it's a very simple timbre. Um, what I'm going to do first off, because it's a bass, I'm going to switch it to mono. And you hear now that the um, the envelopes of each note played don't bleed into one another. The next note will cut the previous one off. Uh, okay, so we need two oscillators for this. Now if I just uh, turn the second oscillator on, you can see it's doing the exact same thing. So we're not going to hear any difference in uh, tone or timbre. Now the key to this patch is the way that we pitch the oscillators away from one another. So oscillator number one. I'm going to pitch it down by 24 semitones, that's two octaves, so we're going to get a much deeper tone. And the second one um, actually needs to go up um, an interval of a fifth, a perfect fifth, up from zero. So this equates to seven semitones and you can hear we are most of the way there now uh, now the other thing you might experiment with is if you want to go for a really thick sound just make that one octave and add the sub oscillator two octaves down so now you've got three oscillators playing um, One's tuned down an octave, one's tuned down two octaves, and one is tuned up seven semitones from the pitch that I'm playing at the moment, which is an A. Okay, so you, you might choose to leave it like that. It's quite a subdued tone, which will sit back in the mix a little bit because of the nature of the sine waves. Um, you know, there's no extra overtone harmonic content going on there, so it will sit back in the mix. What we can do, though, it's maybe add some more harmonics in let's have a look at that on the EQ so you can see there each um, of the three oscillators is giving me a single peak. As soon as I start to introduce this, we get some brighter harmonics for the second oscillator. If we go for oscillator number one, you see we get that same effect, or even the sub oscillator. We're getting uh, quite a few harmonics, I think. Is that a square wave? I think the uh, sub oscillator puts out a square wave when you crank the tone up. But I'm going to leave that nice and clean in the sub. And then it's just a case of mixing and matching. So let's go back to wavetable. The next thing we might choose to do is add a little bit of a filter envelope just to tame some of those brighter harmonics a little bit. So pull the low pass filter back a little bit, maybe a touch of resonance. And now I'm going to use the second envelope. Just touch the filter frequency. You see it pops up there in the matrix. I'm going to use the second envelope. Just to get the filter to bounce a little bit with each note that I press. So that's you, your basic patch. But what I would... Um, advise you to do is experiment with you know leaving the oscillators on the very basic wave shapes but you can hear how 
you make your organ sound a little bit more aggressive by using waveforms that have, um, you know, a, a richer harmonic content in. So that's your basic organ bass patch, um, but we've spiced it up a little bit. First of all, let's just solo this return. I'm going to dial in A. So I've got an instance of Convolution Reverb Pro from Max for Live. Comes with uh, Live 10 Suite. I've picked um, a fairly large room. It's got quite a long decay. Uh, time on that reverb just over one and a half seconds so what I've done is I've used a low cut on an EQ um, for the signal entering the reverb just so we don't get those bass frequencies um, you know building up and making our mix sound muddy so you can hear it's quite a bright um, thin sounding reverb just adds a little bit more excitement to the tops. You could obviously pick something a little bit smaller uh, to taste. The other return track that we've got here, let's just uh, kill the reverb for a moment. This is another way of just making the top end a little bit more excited. Um, what I've got is an instance of echo. Rather than having you know clear defined echoes like that, um, I've switched from sync to time and this gives me a continuous scale in milliseconds. So you see I've set that really fast, 60 milliseconds. As with the EQ I've aggressively filtered out the lows um, from the uh, delayed signal just so again the bass frequencies don't build up and muddy up the mix. Got a fairly short feedback um, and we've got ping pong and you can hear if I solo that it's got the effect of like a slapback reverb effect You might have a mixture of the two, or you might choose one over the other, but it's just a way of, like I say, making the top top end of your organ bass a little bit more exciting. Mm -hmm. 